so uh, I'm fine. Yesterday I didn't get outside um, in the past few days, so um, I just wanted to hop on here while I'm going on my little walk. Um, adventure. Get outside, people. It's beautiful out here. It's funny because last night I um, looked at the weather because I was like, oh, I can really go outside. I've been inside for a couple days. And the weather looked like horrible and I um, was praying last night that like there would be some sunshine and look at it. It's like perfect blue skies. Um, it looked like it was going to rain all day and um, I double checked it, triple checked it and praise God for the sunshine. Seriously, we all need it, I'm sure. So drink the water as well. I found that I've not been as good at that as I want to be. So. Um, and so yeah, so I'm just coming on here to, um, like I said, uh, the last couple videos that I've done live, I'm just getting on here um, for those who don't live by the ocean or can't get outside um, to share some of um, this beautiful place, all of you. Um, right now I'm in Sandwich at the Boardwalk, for those of you who know the Cape. Um, I'm so thankful and grateful that I live close to the ocean. beach walk. Um, I was going to say best coffee shop, but most of them you can't go to right now. Um, so ask me for your adventure spot or share yours with me. What's your favorite spot? Drop it below or DM me please because I'll need many more places to adventure to. Um, I know a lot of them, but I know there's some little hidden gems on the Cape that I don't know. Um, so anyway, the purpose of this video is to just really um, get us all grounded together and um, for us to feel not alone. Um, I'm, I've been struggling with my anxiety a lot, um, which I haven't for a long time, and um, in this way, um, like the physically feeling it and just um, having trouble catching my breath sometimes, honestly. And so I've been trying to get moving. Um, so thank you, Arts Edge Dance Company, for being amazing. Um, every day on Facebook Live, they have... Um, amazing teachers doing um, some little warm-ups, dance classes. There's something for everyone. Get on there and try it. Arts Edge Dance Company. Um, it's a black logo and get up and move in with them throughout the day, in the morning, afternoon, or evening classes. So a little shout out there for my people at Arts Edge. Um, but that's been really helping me. Um, but also getting outside and just really um, counting my blessings that I have a job that I can work from home um, in a beautiful place like this, Cape Cod. Um, my job is still um, is kind of essential. Um, many of you know I'm a child advocate at a child advocacy center, so um, we're responding to all child abuse cases on the Cape and Islands, so those things are still happening in this time. Um, I would say if you're a praying person, please just pray for all the kids and families right now that are um, facing the unknown and for, I mean, we've had a drastic um, decrease in calls and that's nationally um, and it's because kids are not in school um, with their safe people that they can talk to. So it's a sad and hard reality that we're facing every day here in this work. So um, just lift those kids and families up in prayer if you have a moment. Um, and again, those who just popped on, um, I'm just getting on here to share a little beauty with you. So I'm gonna flip the camera around away from my face and into the real beauty. <laughs> um, listening to the birds this morning 
Um, that's something that I've taken notice of today that I don't always and we like in the hurry and hustle and bustle of life I just sat in my car with the window open and listened to the birds so there's some birds over here I'm going to try to bring you closer so you can hear it But yes, it's a beautiful day, Rachel, for sure. And I hope everyone can get outside today. And if you can't just walk with me, I'm gonna be on here for a little bit, just having you walk with me, um, take a deep breath, um, breathe in the fresh air or just breathe. Breathing is so important during this time. I've, I was saying earlier that um, I'm really struggling at times with my anxiety and for this social butterfly, um, but deeper reasons than that that I won't get into today. But, and breathe in the fresh air to remind you that um, this is only temporary and the beauty remains, right? So, oh, hi, Annan. Oh my gosh, love you. Um, I'm so thankful also. I want to do a little shout out to the people in my life today. Um, I think that's also something really important during this time that we kind of... My friend Nicole Bromley, I will quote her all day long. She always says, it's your circle of inspiration. So who are those people that kind of lift you and encourage you and um, walk with you no matter what you're going through in the darkest and brightest of times? And um, identify those people and connect with them more. Get on FaceTime with them if you can. Um, talk to them on the phone. Um, you know, just con connect in any any way we can. Um, hi, Michelle. Aw, oh, sunshine love. Um, for those of you who don't know, something else I'm really grateful for is Camp Sunshine at Tobago Lake. We have a represent in Tobago, just like every day. And love you, Melon. Um, it's a camp in Castle, Maine for kids um, and their families with life-threatening illnesses and um, families who've lost a child. And they're just incredible, incredible people. And we're all like family and if you ever have a chance to volunteer, let me know and I will get you the info once this craziness is over. Um, I'm just popping on here to share with you a little bit of the beauty that I'm so grateful to have um, in times like this. And I just want everyone to take a deep breath in with me. And we're all in this together. Um, you're never alone, whatever you're facing. Um,
fun. It's all all levels, all ages, really easy to to get on there and connect with people. So um, to to move our bodies is really important. And um, so yeah. So again, let me know what else. You're doing. <laughs> and I'm organizing all the things. Yes. Um, prayer about things that are, you know, happening at work, um, families that I work with, a child advocate for child victims of crime, and we're having a, a really um, scary decline in calls, and um, I think it's because it's it's for safe people like the teachers, shout out to teachers out there, we have It's really difficult um, during a time like this. I wasn't expecting it, but I read a few articles regarding um, survivors of trauma in a time like this, and it all started to make sense what I was feeling. And um, you know, it talks a lot about like a time where we felt out of control, or a time where we felt like things were not our choice, <laughs> um, and things like that. So many of you know. I'm gonna share a quick bit of my story, not much detail, but I'm a survivor of child sexual. All those things were out of my control. Um, a couple of them, I was kind of too young to even know what was happening. And um, with the plane crash, it was supposed to be, a, it was a beautiful day just like this, honestly. And um, before I knew it, like, literally flashed before my eyes. And so, um, a time like this where we feel like, you know, things are canceled out of our control. Um, I know during the plane crash time, I had to cancel a lot of the fun things I had planned because um, I just couldn't do it physically and was I was injured um, and feeling like we don't kind of have control of our circumstances can bring bring you back to a time where you didn't feel like you had control so I just encourage you to kind of um, soul search about that a little bit kind of what this brings up for you um, my friend Nicole Bromley has some writing prompts and um, on her page um, Nicole Braddock Bromley One Voice and also on a page, um, an organization that I'm on the uh, Survivor Support Committee for, um, PAVE, which is Promoting Awareness Victim Empowerment. They have little um, kind of self-care videos that the founder, Angela Rose, is doing um, for like uh, writing prompts and meditation and just different things to kind of ground you back to where your feet are. Um, and for me, that's the woman I am today, that none of the things that have happened to me um, 
define me anymore and I've really lived in that um, and trying to be the light for others that may be feeling, you know, in that place of difficulty. Um, so I'm just, you know, really encouraging you to get honest during this time and don't push away those feelings. Um, it's okay to be impacted by this. That's what I've learned in the past couple weeks. I was kind of caught by surprise and was feeling like, well, why should I be impacted? Like, I'm not sick. I don't have anyone around me that's sick. Um, and I have a job and, you know, but also keeping in perspective what we're grateful for during this time. I'm grateful that I have a job that's still paying me for working from home. And I'm grateful to do what I love so that it doesn't feel like going to work every day. And I'm really grateful um, a place like this, you know, that's something I'm grateful for every day. So I'm, I'm challenging my Cape Cod people to not take this place for granted. Like, seriously, you can. It's like, and Cape Cod people are here to have places to go. What you're doing during this time, I think we can all learn from each other. Um, what we can do during this time to keep, keep ourselves grounded and sane and to find peace and truth and love and encouragement. And I'm just gonna walk you. I love seeing like kids and families out together. Actually funny I took um, over 10 years ago now I took my prom pictures here my senior year because I was dating slash good friends with a Cape Cod boy um, and we went to prom as friends and we took our pictures on the boardwalk back there so um, I always have like fond memories of this place and um, see Cape Cod. Be strong, be kind, be happy, be you. The Kindness Rocks Project. You find these all over the place on the Cape. People have really gotten into that, which is been beautiful. Um, so, another thing about perspective is ourselves physically um, because I think a time like this can kind of drag us down and we can feel bogged down by just being inside or um, you know just not being able to do all that we can normally do and so just finding creative ways to try something new physically or just get out of your comfort zone um, and so that's like just a suggestion Well, is 
something as I'm laughing at myself for getting too close. Oh, I found a tiny piece of sea glass. Oh, this one's not as good as usual. Keep looking. Um, but just uh, humor, laugh with each other, um, find a group of people. For me, it's my Camp Sunshine people. We had a group chat um, with a smaller group of us and there was lots of laughter. And then uh, we had a group of like 30 something people the other day on Zoom. And um, just find those people that, you know, we all have people that are, that play different roles in our lives. So there's some people that bring us humor and um, there's some people are, who are there for the more serious stuff. There's some people that do both, which has been incredible for me. I, I need people who are gonna walk with me through the tough stuff, but also make me laugh when I don't want to <laughs> um, in the tough stuff. And that keeps me really grounded. So find those people, as Nicole Bromley would say, in your circle of inspiration. And um, just really find those people to connect with during this time. Maybe it's a friend that you haven't talked to or seen in a while. Ask them to FaceTime. Um, Annan? Let's FaceTime. <laughs> um, but anyway, so just sending my love to everyone out there who may be struggling today or not even just today. Days ahead. Um, crush your comfort zones, people. Crush those comfort zones. Try something new. Um, for me this year, it was um, getting into an adult dance class um, at Arts Edge Dance Company. Um, they're doing some online classes right now that you should take advantage of because they're free and online and live on their Facebook page. Again, that's Arts Edge Dance Company. Shout out to Lindsay and Megan and Deirdre and Crystal and all the beautiful people there. Um, they're really incredible and they're just, they're just bringing it. It's every day. They're bringing their heart, they're bringing their movement, they're bringing their compassion for people who may be struggling. It's just an amazing community. So get on that, people, and ch cherish the little things. This is really cool. People just like searching for stuff, you know, find their way through this time. Woo. Again, I almost got attacked by this. But that's not a bad problem to have <laughs> at this point. So, um, oh, this is really cool right here. This reminds me of, for those of you who have faith, um, we are carried during this time. where we feel like we can't get grounded that we somehow find our way back and um, I just want people to really feel held and loved and um, cared for and compassion um, humor and love and light and beauty and find the beauty in the little, little victories are big victories And if you know me, probably take some pictures because, you know, why not? Um, that's another thing that brings me joy is taking pictures. So I'll be doing some of that momentarily. And um, just have a good rest of your day, everyone. And send me your prayer requests. If anyone has specific prayer requests, text me or direct message me. Also want to know what you're grateful for. Text me, direct message me. Um, I also want to know if you want to FaceTime. Text me or direct message me. Um, follow my page at Victory Over Pelvic Pain on Instagram. Um, and what was the other thing? Get outside, people. Cape Cod people, share with me your favorite spots to go during this time or just in general. Um, maybe not coffee shops because can't go to them. Or let me know and I'll put them on my list to check out when this is over. Um, but let me know your favorite places to walk because I'm going to need some good advent adventure spots on the Cape. Again, don't take this place for granted. Cape Cod people. Or Cape Cod while you can and sending all my love to all of you um, again prayer requests what you're grateful for what you're doing during this time to stay safe and anything else you want to share with me if you want to FaceTime whatever works and go check out Arts Edge Dance Company on Facebook for live videos of dance and join us love you guys bye